they look like they're the assholes. Are already normally pretty big assholes. For the right cause, though. They're, they're the there. PC they're master they're race. Ugh. Flesh. Ugh. Civilians made it's of like, flesh. Ugh, console. <laughs> you peasant. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is Sweet ATA Reactions, the place where I react to everything I've never seen. And today, you already know what time it is, guys. It's time to react to another Bricky video to Warhammer 40k. And which specific video are we going to be talking about today? We're going to be talking about the video to every single Warhammer Space Marine Legion in a nutshell video. Yeah, I'm going to be reacting to that because Bricky has been on fire and boy has he lit a match under this channel's ass like you guys really seem to enjoy these videos and I enjoyed you guys I really love the feedback that you guys give me on these we've already discussed that everything ain't always correct in Rick Bricky's videos but we enjoy his enthusiasm and we know that for the most part it's the gist that we all uh, we want we want the gist of what warhammer 40k has to offer and bricky does an exceptional job of, of providing those things it's always just those minute things that are off but hey i appreciate him man and i think this is the format that i enjoy the most like as much as i enjoy you guys and i appreciate you guys for just giving me all the details i need some of y'all type in terms and conditions and that can be a bit daunting so it is good to have a person that can verbally say these things out loud and i can enjoy it and actually get excited to look into things for myself but today yeah we're going to be talking about the space marines because they're one of the things that i got introduced to first you guys I don't know for whatever reason y'all haven't checked out my um astartes project video that i reacted to um it still hasn't hit that 1k like goal so it's a blessing that we're actually here because the follow-up videos that i did pertaining to warhammer 40k got over a thousand likes the first one to part one of bricky's every faction video it's already about to break 2,000 likes. And the second one is coming up on 1,000 likes. So yeah, man, shout outs to y'all. But the Space Marines, they are an interesting component of this universe. Like they are the go-to guys when you want to get shit done. You know what I'm saying? Like I call them the Space Debos, the, uh, the, the slim, thick Jesuses of this uh, franchise because they just go in and they wreck shop and I tried not to do too much studying on these guys, but I just couldn't help myself because they are so interesting from the way they're constructed and biologically manufactured to do all these crazy uh, feats and stuff like that. But I do like some of their lore, like the armor that they have to wear. And I also like their weaponry, like they have these bolter guns, which can't be used by the average guardsman. Like if they did, they have to have like a tripod to set the shit up and an extra man to carry it around. I love that, man. Like the bolter guns, they're very interesting because, you know, usually when you think of a bolter gun, you think of something that is super heavy and has a lot of power to it. You know, not only on the receiving end uh, from the enemy, but something like on the recoil side of things where it could blow you away, essentially, you know, these high ballistic high powerful ballistic guns that um have this kinetic energy to them and they fire these large guy gigantuan rounds that are the size of mountain dew cans or fucking monster energy drink, energy drink cans they are very cool man and i can't wait to see what this shit is going to look like in motion i know they have a new game coming out for uh, warhammer 40k space marines and this is going to be the sequel it's going to be next gen it's going to be awesome so um let's see what bricky has to say about this man i've been holding off like i really want to delve into this shit so yeah let's go ahead and do this now with every single warhammer space marine legion in a nutshell here we go to the people on the internet the time has come it has so have i begins. your boy got himself a shaker cup oh okay getting a pre-workout and a um a stiffy. After many, many months of shilling gamer subs like mad, my favorite Who's he sponsored by? Do, we have ourselves a goddamn shaker cup. Mm. It's here. The official Bricky Waifu Shaker Cup. Do you see <laughs> the gal on the power here? of Opie? I'm sure there'll be a thing in the background. The skater, put a thing in the background. Luxurious Long milk hair, motels. Absolutely. A bit more toned abs mm -hmm. obviously that's how you he like them hit it legally distinct mark on the face of course she wants you to do the diddle thing maybe but most likely to <laughs> serve in a glorious army Ooh. legally distinct 
I think so. Okay, the uh, Deptus Sorority approves. Is available now, and you should get it while it is hot. But if you're thinking, Bricky, what should I put in this? Well, how about my top 10 favorite gamer subs flavors from number one to number 10? All of them. You gotta love the Marvel vs. Capcom theme playing in the background. An addendum for those that are caffeine. He is a man this of culture. Is available now in the description of this video. You may use code Bricky as well at checkout to get a discount on your order. A massive amount of profits goes to yours truly and a huge <laughs> thank you to gamer subs for sponsoring and for getting me this beautiful beautiful cup well Go deserved man well it. deserved i'm gonna take one more <clears throat> sip for the camera slow it down throw some sexy music yeah in do that and i'll see you guys soon hey bootleg kenny g up on the sash guys chug gotta take it to the head can't take it like no biatch Hello everybody, my name is Bricky, currently stuck in the walls of the most prodigious school in the Imperium. It's like a daredevil fight scene. To sleep during class. God bless the Skull of Progenium. Many of you have come across my Every Faction Explained video. I Firstly, have. Thank you. Secondly, we are here to dig thank a you. little deeper. Space Marines are the quintessential poster boys of Warhammer 40,000. When people think 40K, they think Space Marines. Think boys. There are many types of Space Marines formed from 20 separate legions. We are going to rattle them off in order and mm. give you a quick rundown of each one. A disclaimer, like in my Every Faction Explained video, this is a mix of accuracy and memes. If I say the Salamander's Legion, special Specializes in hugging children and petting puppies. <laughs> they aren't exactly doing that. Of course they're not. I would like to pet this creature. But you can infer <laughs> that they care about civilians and are a bit kinder than the average space marine. A space marine being a genetically modified super- Kurt Angles! Had a million new and terrifying organs shoved into them, refrigerators strapped to their bodies, and are so far above the average human that they are referred to as demigods instead. Each mm. space marine has a father, unlike you, a primarch, <laughs> which is basically an even bigger space I wish marine. I had a daddy. In a lab by the god emperor of mankind that gigantic golden dude you see space everywhere. jesus both the leader and now the martyr adam warlord lord's dad are his 20 sons built in a lab who lead 20 legions of space marines who are their sons not from a lab but rather a dissection table giving them the powers Ugh. and skills of their associated primarch via a gene seed a special organ carrying the genetic makeup of their primarch and you know their seed. So Jagatai <laughs> Khan of the White Scars has the genetic makeup that wants him to go really, really fast. Then his sons, the space show me your moves. Also want to go really, really fast. Mm. I should note that I am only referring to the legions this time around. If you're interested in sub factions, like let's say the Black Templars, then it's not going to be here. However, hey. I do have a excellent. They got Birdie Mac. I'd argue it's space marines. The most accurate one I can think of. It goes through the whole lore, everything about them. It's a very long video, and I'll put it in the description. Just look up Black Templar video mm -hmm. in the description. You'll get what you need. And now with the easy explanation out of the way, let us begin with our first Legion. Let's go, baby. Dark Angels in the building. Dark Angels. Allegiance, loyal. Primark Lion L. Johnson, <laughs> a duelist, a knight, a real asshole, I'm not gonna lie. The single word descriptor, Paranoid. The Dark hey. Angels are our first legion, hailing from the death world known as Calabam. Calabam. Lion L. Johnson is what happens when you try to make the side profile Chad meme into a genuine character. He mm. is a master tier duelist, a brilliant strategist, and an overall dick. There are few. Yeah, he, I, I get douchebag vibes from this guy. And few fights he isn't ready to lead head on. This makes the Dark Angels have a very Knights of the Round Table vibe. They look like the Knights of Old with these large suits of power armor, often donning robes and hoods. Mm. Their names also follow this. They have like Ezekiel, Azrael, Belial, Samuel and so on. However, the common thing associated with Dark Angels are the Fallen, a part of their faction that turned traitor against the Imperium, and they are very heavily trying to expunge all knowledge of them 
from existence. Satan's fallen. Legion. What fallen? Never heard of any fallen. Do you know about the fallen? We're gonna take you away. I know about that bad Transformer sequel. Make sure you have never heard of the fallen. They definitely don't exist. And if they do exist, which they don't, we will find them, even though they don't exist. They love their. I will find him. They thrive in it. Lionel Johnson is a scorched Earth policy sometimes, and it's given to his sons in force, which makes sense considering that when the lion heard of a chaos Primark on a homeworld different Primark, whose mom was there, he was like. Let's nuke it. The Dark Angels <laughs> are a special group where they formulate themselves into three different factions. The Deathwing Terminators, slow moving, tough phalanx. The Raven Wing, fast jet bikes and flyers. And the Green Wing, which is your standard Marines. They Each sold separately. Trades, but not in the sense where they're good at everything, but rather they have a lot of things that are good at specific things. Like instead of 20 people that have a multi-tool, they instead have 20 people with gigantic power tools for every job imaginable. Damn. You like being suspicious about everyone and everything in your surroundings, but you also like to have a whole lot of deep night type lore. Run the Dark Angels. The okay. One Piece! The One Piece is real! It is! It's a special one. Give it to me. Uh, it sounds like they're dark and demented. Yeah. The numbers all go to... These motherfuckers are crazy. The Emperor's Children. Allegiance? Traitor. Primark? Fulgrim. A perfectionist. An artist. A sneaky, sneaky... Snake. They're like Pepto-Bismol videos on... Perfection. The Emperor's Children are all about the pursuit of perfection. perfection yeah, look at it. They do. Perfection in war. Like in smoothie artistry, mixed skittles. Perfection in every other aspect of life. Their armor is a gleaming pink, purple, and gold. Their ships have spires of gorgeous marble and gold statues Regal. in their honor. Fulgrim is a man who believes the pursuit of perfection is the goal of all things. And I mean, look at him. Can you truly tell me that he is not perfect? The hair. The that nigga look like a buff and griffin. Though he is the one you look at, and if 40k had a guy this nigga. that would give you the best sex you've ever had and never call you back. Yes. This is the fucking guy. Which is why this pursuit of decadence led them to the evils of chaos. Yes. Wow. Emperor's children are our first chaos legion and not just a normal one. One devoted to, you guessed it, Slanesh, the prince of pleasure, <laughs> god of unspeakable excess. The emperor's children in their pursuit are now horrifyingly mutated beings through Slanesh's great will. They torture and maim to feel perfection through pain, they screech and attack with sonic weaponry for perfection through sound, and they slaughter, aiming for perfection in war. Fulgrim Man. himself lost the battle against Slanesh as a demon sword corrupted his mind and transformed him into the sexy man he was, into the sexy snake he is now. A demon Primark corrupt. Now, I know that Warhammer 40k predates a lot of the things that I watched, but I can't help but get vibes of Berserk's Griffith. Not only with this character, this king right here, but also with Slanesh, who kind of gives off Slan vibes, which is one of the uh, four God Hand members. Uh, like, I don't know at what time period they think that they developed this, but that's what I'm getting from this, guys. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe the creator of Berserk maybe lifted some lore from this. But then again, I feel like um, everything has been lifted from lore from the past. Uh, like, there are so many different things that we can take, whether it be like from Greek mythology or uh, esoterical things, uh, biblical references and stuff like that. So that's when i get it's like the lore is rich but i like how it's just it maintains that intergalactic space opera feel that we love you know i think that's one of the beauties of warhammer 40k that's all i wanted to say because i know you guys get mad at me for talking over the video but um let's get back to it didn't and bring his legions will by himself. As far hmm. as Emperor's children go, they are some bad people. They do horrible, Ew. horrible things to anyone and everything. He's giving this guy a teddy bear tattoo on his head. That their battle cry is for the Emperor, despite being horribly mutated and corrupted. If yeah. you've ever taken a little too much of a drug, or, or <laughs> maybe the music at a concert was I like too the vitamins loud, better. you don't bring any earplugs, or whatever the reason, you just take all those things and you dial it, and you dial it and you twist it and the knob breaks and Damn. that is the emperor's children Sheesh. Is dead. iron warriors dead. And we have killed him. the iron warriors allegiance traitor primark percherabo a warlord a siege smith 
an incel. Single word descriptor. <laughs> really? Siege. Continuing the trend of our chaos. These guys love yelling the at their computer Iron screens Warriors all day. Primark Percherabo of Olympia. To understand the Iron Warriors, though, one must first understand Percherabo. A man so bitter, coffee beans run for light. A man who hates the world and everyone in it. Mm. Who never got recognition for his deeds. Who hates his brothers and hates their accomplishments even more. Someone so laughably petty, so incredible. Incredibly bitter, yeah. he goes full circle to becoming likable. Why? <laughs> because he's competent. The Horus Heresy. We didn't talk about the Horus Heresy. Intermission. All right, I was just gonna say, man, Horus I was, was the Emperor's getting science, into right? space. Right? Andrew Tate. Walked into his room. Horus said, "Dad, Dad, I just gifted 150 subs to Amaranth, and she said my name a ton, and she loved me for it. I really think that I might get to meet her one day." Uh oh. And Kind of played out something like this. Your feelings for her are not real. They are real to me! <laughs> and then it started playing out a little bit more like this. Let the seas boil. Let the stars fall. Man, that looks good. The fuck? So it takes the last drop of my blood. Yeah. So Iron Warriors, the Horus Heresy wouldn't have gotten shit done without Peter Turbo. Imagine Ooh. an entire faction that is the personification of brutal industrialism, where you serve the Legion until your dying breath. You build and you kill and you siege and you kill and you literally summon demons just to take them and Damn. trap them in machines and use them as cannon fodder. That this is, is metal as do. fuck. They summon demons. Right. Satanic Thomas the Tank. Engines. The Iron Warriors are siege warfare incarnate. They are heavy weapons. They are tanks. They are turrets. And they don't die. They hate Imperial, <laughs> they hate Imperial fists. Do you need a pacifier, Iron Baby? No. Ah. No, I don't. They are inter incarnate. Perch My dad owns a dealership. They don't serve the Chaos Gods because they like them. They serve them because fuck you. Come on, guys. Let's go. Not another speeding ticket. I'll fight it in court, but I don't think they're going to accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. The Shout out to my man Roger Craig Allegiance Smith. Spoiler. Underrated Spoiler. Sonic Primark, voice. Jagatai Khan. A speed demon. A he sticks his dick in everything, even the equipment. Scar. Single word descriptor? Speed. Hailing from Chagoras. The white scars are all about speed. How, much, how many kids does he have? They love it even more when they are doing it from a motorcycle or <laughs> land Or honestly, just... Running really damn fast. The white yeah. stars are honestly forgotten about. Why? Lot, and that's lore accurate. They are a legion that doesn't seek the recognition or glory from okay. the combat. They, they just do it for the thrill. They engage in it because it is their duty and because they love it. Not exactly. in the insane slaughter enjoyment of loving it, but in the thrill of the fight. They are known as the laughing killers because they ride into battle with a smile on their face and a chuckle in their throat. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell by their Primarch's name, they are Mongolian based. Remove horses and replace them with motorcycles and land spears and that's your style they are heavily based on the old times of genghis khan and yeah 40k and everybody's evil you now that fits the white scars are actually physical scars on their body going back to their heritage on chagoras the khan himself is kind of a dickhead but but a reasonable one he thinks ahead he's intelligent he's patient he is often underestimated because he doesn't scream his the big booty daddy himself rooftops, which is what makes him and the white scars dangerous his skills are kept at bay only to be truly shown when the time is needed the like craving the hunter right there in legion often but that doesn't diminish their accomplishments all it does it surprised those who underestimate them. Speed, awesome Mongolian vibe they got going on. And if you really like to stab people, that's the white scars for you. Shameless mm. thirst break. Put Jason Voorhees on one of those bikes. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, bitch. The Space Wolves. <laughs> Allegiance, loyalist. Primarch, Lehman Russ. A Viking, a savage, the Undertaker. Single right. word descriptor. Wolf, 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 wolf. There's so many goddamn wolf units. Skater, how many units in the Space Wolves Codex have the word wolf in their name? I need Tyler, uh, the, the creator, wolf, up the in that group. Legion and hail from Fenris, a frozen wasteland of a world with their Fenris. Primark, Lehman, Russ. I don't really need to spend a whole lot of time talking about the Space Wolves because it's very obvious who they are. They are the second most 
like obvious what their shtick is legion mm -hmm. in the 20 it's pretty self-explanatory when you look at the space wolves behind what do you see do you see vikings i see charlie space? hunnam on steroids congratulations you have found vikings in space but they have as much in goddamn jacks marine as an old day viking with, with like a roman soldier you see as a space marine your body is how small this is you his head is poison and so you can't get drunk the space wolves distill a special mead out of a horrible poisonous plant that would kill a normal human mm. so they could get drunk they have fangs in their mouths they sometimes cannibalize their enemies really? yeah, they, sometimes they eat people because they gain knowledge about them from there and okay. about battle plans the space wolves are savages they're raiders they're vikings but despite all of this they are loyal to their core lehman russ is an they seem gnarly as fuck he just shouts stories and tales of his accomplishments everywhere they can but at the same time he was so damn loyal that instead of gunning down his foes he hit him with a fucking backbreaker mm. to show his devotion his devotion to wrestling if you want vikings <laughs> in space you found it. Play the Vikings in space. We're gonna build Vikings the wall. We in space. No I got it. We have no choice. Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. The Imperial Fist. <laughs> I know my, my people are gonna be mad at me for that. Rogel Dorn, a Ooh. builder, a phalanx, and he needs a hand. Single word descriptor. Fortify. The Imperial Fists are led by Primarch Rogel Dorn, their homeworld of Inuit. However, they themselves are actually a fleet-based chapter, with their main source of recruitment coming from an enormous moon-sized ship called the Phalanx. The Fists nice. are a chapter you think of when you think of duty. They love to serve. The love to serve and the inability to be moved. To Rogel be fisted. Dorn is an architect, a Homelander? builder, and basically a rock in brain and body. A lack of humor or ability to lie shows that he is as blunt as the weapons yeah. of war he creates. Not the swords he makes, but like blunt, strong weapons. The mm -hmm. fists are the same. Take your archetypical American Marine style look, a buzz cut, a hard sense of duty, and then throw in some power armor and a love for building defenses and you have the Imperial Fists. They mm. are immovable. When you find a spot, they're ready to defend. You, you can't breach them. Their knowledge of defensive warfare is paramount. Without them, the Horus Heresy would have been so much more effective. But thanks to their insane and immovable tenacity, the Imperium lives today. And let's not forget that Iron Warrior and Imperial Fist rivalry. Want to know why the Iron Warriors are so bitter? What the fuck? These guys are the reason why. Hey, guys! Bring the thing! <laughs> Where is he going? What are these? What is he? What is he about to drop on him? Oh my god! What is that? A tank? Hey! Hey! That could have killed me! <laughs> hey guys! We missed. Get another. Dorn and Perturabo <laughs> are basically two sides of the same coin. One is just a bit more level-headed and got better jobs. If you want to be defensive. To be good at everything space marines are good at, bolters, heavy weapons, vehicles, you want a classic military fighting force? Start fisting. I am having a very bad day. <laughs> he this said the thing. Today is one of the worst days. Oh boy. Night Lords. Oh boy, here we the go. bouncers Night of the Lords. 40k Allegiance universe. Heretic. Primark Conrad Kurz, a sadist, a vigilante. Remember this guy. Espresso Espresso. Single word. Fear. The Night Lords are my favorite legion, hailing from the Stromo. Everything is dark. Conrad Kurz. They are a traitor legion from a planet known as the Sunless World or the World of Endless Night. The Stromo mm -hmm. is a horrible hive city that is known for being host to some of the worst gang violence, murder, and working conditions around. The only thing keeping the population in check is the suicide rate. The Night really? Lords followed in the footsteps of their Primarch, a man who believes believed in a twisted sense of justice and that the only way to make humans compliant is through fear. The Legion's lesson has been lost on them as their ranks were repopulated by gang members, murderers, arsonists, torturers, well. and other words I can't say on YouTube as young as 12 years It's like you were old. destined to lose. Murderers before they were even teens, Yes, you didn't stand a chance. To become demigods. It's like a now, planet full of Cyrax, uh, Shyrax savages. Is what they reap. The Night Lords are 
scum. They are the exact opposite of all other legions. They torture and they maim and they flay because they think it's fun. They run away often so they can come back and kill you with more numbers. They <laughs> prey on the innocent and the weak. They kill normal civilians because it's easy. And Bro, this is very depressing. Like, they, this faction right here has to be one of the darkest ones, literally and figuratively. It's like you're stuck on this dark planet. You don't have the Wi-Fi password. You're forced to listen to Eddie Murphy records. What else are you going to do but just torment each other and just kill for the sake of it? God damn, bro. Flee any battle where they don't possess overwhelming odds. They are the antithesis of normal space marines. They are scum. One time, they are. a world did not comply to their demands, so they raided one of their ships and brought it into atmosphere. The crowds cheered and clapped as it appears that they had won the battle, and the airlocks opened, and <gasps> the skinned and flayed bodies of the crew were thrown down in the populace. Wow. In words. Yeah. A legion of gangers and criminals. Add together a heavy yeah, yeah. Slavic influence to them. And you've got my favorite faction. You have not done the dishes for five years. Blood years. angels. So when people come over here. But what does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them. Vampires don't do dishes. The blood <laughs> angels. Allegiance, loyal. Primarch, sanguineous. An angel, a vampire, a dead ass motherfucker. Single <laughs> word descriptor. Blood. The Blood yeah. Angels are Ninth Legion, hailing from the homeworld of Baal, with their Primarch Ball. Sanguinius. The Blood Angels are a tragic tale, with one of the best Primarchs, one beloved by almost everybody, a genuine angelic figure who led his people to glory, killed by the hands of the traitor Horus before the Emperor's eyes. The death of their Bruh. Primarch led the entire Legion to madness as their gene seed malfunctioned and created something Ix. known as the Black Rage. The Blood Angels degrade over time, experiencing something called the Red Thirst, which gives them a genuine vampiric thirst for blood. As their mm. minds degrade and break down, they get angrier and angrier, becoming berserk killing machines with no other goal than to tear everything in sight apart. But they don't Man. see it as that. They see themselves there, at their Primarch's demise, with Horus in sight. And to them, it's time for vengeance. That yeah. Space Marine over there, that Chaos Space Marine, that's Horus. Kill him. That Orc War Boss over there, Horus. Kill him. <laughs> One thousand Horuses. Merc him. Kill them all. Did your toast come out a little bit burnt? Horus sabotaged your toaster. Destroy the toaster. Destroy it's a it. fitting Do theme. It. Do it. The Do pain the theme is fitting this for the shit. This slow debilitating disease takes over the blood angels and it gives them this angelic vampire and Catholic inspired imagery. They have chalices of blood. They rest in coffins and can even use psychic powers to sprout angels. Bro, this is the perfect time to play the gang grill theme. Tragedy through and through and the only thing that will look more tragic are the mangled bodies of those they come in contact with. Wow. I got a diesel engine. Like, these guys seem like they just perform snow angels in the blood of their victims. Love it, man. It's almost like the only person in existence that matches this is, like, Chef Ramsay because he's the most blood-sucking individual on primetime television. He's on everything, but his rage has become his profession, if I can say that. But let's go ahead and jump into this again. Uh, Iron Hands, the 10th Legion. Man, we got 10 already, huh? Here we go. We forgot to mention, we're gonna take your job away. The Iron Hands. Allegiance, Loyalist. Primarch, Ferris Manus, a machinist, an inventor, and not a great head on his shoulders. Really? Single word, Bionics. Bionic man! Oh! <laughs> the Iron Hands are from the home planet of Medusa and their Primarch, Ferris Manus. Does Ferris Manus have an iron hand? You fucking know he's got an iron mm -hmm. hand. The Iron Hands believe that the flesh is weakness. But despite all of their enhancements, despite all the things that made them demigods, replacing some of the flesh with bionics will allow them to serve the So are they more, more associated with the Adeptus Mechanicus? Vehicles and dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts being giant walking sarcophagi that have wounded space marines piloting them from the inside. Vehicles 
metal upgrades. These are the things that make up this Legion. Their mm. tech Marines have servo arms sticking out from all directions. They have a wide array of mechanics and extremely often replace limbs. Let me guess, ones, they piss out CPU thermal paste. To deal with their enemies. The Iron Hands are also not particularly nice. Uh, they're kind of ass. They and look like they're assholes. Are already normally pretty big assholes. For the right cause they though. They're, they're the PC they're master race. Ugh. Flesh, ugh, civilians made of it's flesh. Like, ugh, console. <laughs> you peasant. Flesh is weak. Flesh is corruptible. Bionics. The strength of the machine is pure and cannot so easily be corrupted. So if you want people who have this little techno fetishistic vibe to them that love their vehicles and mm -hmm. their walking coffins, hit up the Iron Hands. You understand, Commander? You want douchebag cyberpunks? Hit up, hit up this group. Legion Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the poor one out for Yeah, this is gonna be a doozy. I am ready. Why, hello there. I have returned from, um, touching grass. Oh, got that Tommy Versetti shirt on. I'm pretty cool. You are. The grass touching. It. Yeah. Now let's continue our Warhammer lecture. Yes. What are you trying to say? Did you leave out something that these people are gonna get irate over? Okay, so what's going on here? I am the the World Eaters. Allegiance, heretic. Okay. Primark, Angron. A butcher, a slaughterer. Like extreme. Like Got the Miller Benilli dreads. Unreasonably fuck ass man. Single word descriptor, anger. Hey you. Yeah you. Are you mad? Do you just fucking hate everything? Yes. Do you want murder everything in sight and get of course. rewarded for doing Wanna so? Want to see the world burn? The world Eaters. Home planet of Nuceria and Primark, Angron. Who, if the name didn't suggest is real fucking angry. Angron was raised a slave, forced to fight in gladiator pits. When he refused, they shoved old world tech into his brain mm. so that if he ever felt any emotion other than anger, it caused him extreme pain. All his sons, wanting to be like their dad, also put a version of these nails in their brain. So now Bruh. you have an entire legion who literally feel unimaginable pain if they are feeling any emotion other than anger. Slap them with a freight train of armor, two goddamn chainsaw axes, and you can see what's gonna happen. It's no yeah. wonder they're corrupted by corn. They're honestly a surprisingly sad legion that I actually screwed up in assuming that they were all just angry murderers. I mean, they are. But they didn't start out that. But you got these dreadlocks connected their to their fucking brains. And will and made powerful warriors into arguably even more powerful warriors, but blunt like frothing at the mouth psycho war. It's almost like they're connected to every dark web site in the existence or something, and that's uh, the thing that's feeding to their brains and driving them mad. Like these guys are very depressing. It's like when you think that you're just you've reached the end of the rabbit hole, it just continues to go deeper and deeper, and you see these tragic figures up in it. So yeah, they're not violent for the sake of being violent, even though that's what it looks like on a surface level. There are certain things that drive them to be this. But but why wouldn't the dad tell his sons not to follow in his footsteps? That's the thing. Maybe he couldn't. Maybe he was too busy raging on the internet or something. World Eaters, like I mentioned, the Space Wolves, they, they wear their concept on their sleeve. They mm. are angry. They want to kill things. They want to kill you and maybe some of their friends. And that's that's the faction. They're red. Yeah. They're mad. They're going to run at you. The Fandom Menace. Them. If you like that, you play the World Eaters. Or you like it because they were, you know... At one point, a lot better than that. Most of Warhammer was a lot better than that. I was once a lot better than that. That was when I was in college. Mm. I didn't finish college, and neither did I. I didn't either. Hell, it's it. It must. It is. Hey, on. Hell, sees up. Ultra Marines. The Ultra Marines. Allegiance. These guys. Primark. Rabute Gilliman. That's Rabute. An analyst. A Rabute? diplomat. A blueberry boy scout. Single mm. word descriptor. Duty. When you see Space Marines on a box, these are the ones I see the most emotional material. Notice how they are always colored blue. These are mm -hmm. the blue Space Marines. The, these ones here, the Ultra Marines, who hail from the world of Macrog with their Primarch Rabute Gorilla Man. Rabute. Ultra Marines are, are the that white name. bread of Space Marines. The, the grilled chicken with salt and pepper. And this is by no means an insult. They are plain Jane, but that's also because they're like they walking are Marie Calendar TV dinners. Job. Their skill for warfare is paramount, but so is their ability for leadership. 
leadership. Gilliman for a while was a damn boring Primarch for all the reasons he was great. Because no matter how hard you try, you don't win a war without logistics, without supply lines, without trade routes, without infrastructure and economy. You don't win anything without all that stuff. And Gilliman <laughs> knows I got my sword on my dick. One of the largest standing empires in the Imperium, named Ultramar, which is Ultramar. why his sons are the most recognizable of all the Space Marines. Which is why the only thing that rivals the weight of their victories is the weight of their their egos. They are good at everything and bad at nothing. They are great at everything. Other legions can do other things better than them, but they are good at everything. The most interesting right. thing about the Ultramarines is their characters, as they are all now inflicted with various amounts of Ultra Depression for many reasons. Gilliman wow. is, at the time of recording, the only playable Primarch currently on the tabletop, and the only one that has returned to the 41st millennium for the Loyalist side. Is he, he in the games? One look at what his empire has become, and immediately wanted to fucking die. Being forced to lead everything he once hated, an Imperium rotten to its core with his sole responsibility to save it, is kind of what makes him interesting. They are a mm. perfectly standard legion with perfectly standard ideals and great if you want a simple, clean slate. Uh-oh, stinky. Death poop, Guard. Poop funny. <laughs> the Death Guard. Allegiance? Heretic, Primarch, mm -hmm. Mortarian, a Reaper, a Poison, an ungodly. They stank. Thing. Single word description. Exactly. Rot. The Death Guard hail from Barbaros with the Primarch Mortarium. The 14th Legion were known for their incredible resistance. They like to smell damage. their own farts. That's a lot of damage. Where the Imperial Fists were defensive thanks to tactics and posturing, the Death Guard were resilient because they could take a punch or, or a gut shot or, or a cannon <laughs> to the chest and, and just keep on moving. They are slow, yet they are resistant. Wow. Which was only confounded as a Death Guard captain Typhus, codename Dickhead, sold Dick. them out to Nurgle, god of rot and decay. Yeah, I remember that now, guy. The Death Guard are a Nurgle worshipping infected legion whose ability to feel pain and take damage has all but just gone away. They wade mm. through gunfire, able to kill normal marines 10 times over and continue unharmed, all while spreading rot and disease in the name of their dark, very stinky master. Where the Death Guard enter, plague spreads. People get sick and they die. They spread Oof. debilitating disease to all around them. Why would a legion imagine sitting in a waiting room with these guys? Very tanky when their enemies are falling over, puking, firing out of both ends, and having their skin peel off just Shit. by their presence. Entire exactly. world infested with a zombie rot, swarms of insects that eat flesh and metal alike, all while the legion advances slowly painfully, allowing the disease they spread to take its toll before they reap the lives they believe belong to them. And look at Mortarian's model, dude. The man is baller as fuck. He a is badass. Moth with a look at the mucus spike. coming off Come of his little now. breathing apparatus. For my next trick! Thousand Suns. fucking kill myself. The Thousand Suns. They crash Allegiance? out. Heretic. Primarch, Magnus the Red. Horn Scholar, nipples. A sorcerer. Fucking nerd. Single word descriptor? Magic. <laughs> the Thousand Sons hail from their homeworld of Prospero with their Primarch Magnus the Red. The final of our four major Chaos God factions, the Thousand Sons are disciples of Zeech, the Changer of Ways. Heavily inspired by their Egyptian theming, the Legion yeah. themselves are slaves to the god of trickery and change. Most of them no longer even having a physical form, reduced to just dust, piling suits of armor at the whim of a sorcerer leader. The Thousand Sons do not deserve their fate. There's a common joke that Magnus did nothing wrong. Red Hulk? This is untrue. He has done much wrong. However, what did he do? He is very sympathetic. Mainly because the Space Wolves and Lehman Russ sought to end their rivalry through the annihilation of their legion, escaping hmm. only through the assistance of the Changer of Ways, and forever changed because of it. Meanwhile, magic is their main tool. Take some Lovecrafty style abilities, the eyes everywhere, and okay. potent spells to be cast at their foes, whether these are bolts of psychic lightning, reversing time itself, uh -huh. opening up portals to unreality, or changing the very fabric of the universe. The Thousand Suns sorcery knows no bounds, and they are very good at it. If you're a fan of like wizards, your classic style of spellcaster, and you want a ton of them, combined with a tragic backstory and a Primarch who, like Mortarian- If you like LARPing, 
Dude, Baller, this is the group for you. Sons are for you. You they fucking are. asshole! There's no way you're a fucking cheater. Such a sore loser. You're a cheater. My dad works at Nintendo. The sons <laughs> of Horus, or the Luna Wolves. Sounds like Maximilian, or the Black dude. Legion. Allegiance. Heretic. Primarch. Horus. A warlord. A treasured friend. The favorite the son himself. Single word descriptor. Assault. Jeez. The Sons of Horus are the formal name of Horus's legion hailing from the world of Chthonia. The Sons of Horus up, really. themselves were assault troops. The strength of their attack was some of the most powerful in the legions. While the White Scars may favor speed for their strikes, the Sons of Horus were known for their overall offensive power. It was even said that if the Sons of Horus met the Imperial Fists, they would be at a stalemate for eternity. However, the Sons of Horus are no longer because, well, they crashed all the way out. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. Oh, this guy. They are now instead the Black Legion, led by Abaddon the Despoiler, who claims to succeed where his father failed. The Black Legion are still an offensive and assault-based force, but they act much like the Ultramarines, but for chaos. Your standard Black and Brass Space Marine, who are known for recruiting in all different kinds of avenues. Anyone can become a member of the Black Legion. Okay. Anyone can swear allegiance to the War Master. You're you accepting all application one, signees. All four gods equally their Ooh. famous line let the galaxy burn is the best way to describe them it doesn't matter what the outcome is so long as the imperium dies the black legion has done its job they are a legion formed from hatred and spite with a clear goal in mind as the so this one right here is a very dark and depressing and a bit sad too because if they're the descendants of horus and they're trying to continue what he started that's a bit unfortunate because if I'm not mistaken, the last words of Horus is that he was sorry. That's the last words he told his dad or something along those lines. It's like he was very regretful that he turned over to the dark side and was easily influenced by the gods of chaos. And yet these guys are trying to spark it up. That's what it's like when you don't have a father figure in your life, guys. Like if you don't have a person to steer you on the right path, everything turns to shit. And that's Warhammer 40k in a nutshell you know a lot of people that have just been kind of like swayed over into the wrong like direction you know what i'm saying uh they need a chris tucker in their life they need a jackie chan they need a rush hour like they need to watch some of those movies so they can get on the right path you know and press the goddamn button but anyways let's go ahead and jump back into this the dark gods are calling and the black legion are sure to answer. Hello. Man. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Uh oh. No. <laughs> the word bearers. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Lorgar Aurelian, a preacher, a fanatic, a choir boy. Like my boy from 300. Zeal. If the Black Legion answer the call of the Dark Gods, Xerxes they said over here. You decide to call the gods first. Well, then the word bearers are for you. The 17th Legion, led by Primal Orgar on the planet. Billy Zane on acid. Originally obsessed with worshiping the Emperor of Mankind as a god, they found that despite his divinity, he was not worthy of worship. Because. You know, he raised their equivalent of Jerusalem to the ground for Bruh. daring to worship him. Like, could you imagine if, if God actually showed up and was just like, Jerusalem is stupid. It just, it just destroyed <laughs> the whole thing. Like, what would that do to your head? But there are gods that want worship and will reward those who do. The word bearers are okay. chaos worshipers to a T. All chaos gods. They specialize in demonic rituals, the summoning of demons, and the mutual possession of their own troops. They welcome demons to their bodies to fight Ooh. as one. It's like they an open invitation. The gods themselves for aid, and guess what? They answer. In the world of 40k, Satan doesn't Bruh. just call you back. He hops in his GT Mustang and he crashes on your couch. In the world of 40k, your rituals will like they paint pentagrams under their results. fucking lazy boy the seats. The know this. They know through sacrifices, through devotion, through dark baptism, the gods will answer and they will be rewarded. So they use it. They Man. bring forth demons. They bring forth possessions. They bring forth the power of the neverborn, the damned and those that hide in the dark to bear against the Imperium. Lorgar <laughs> sits there, smiling, as the truth he always knew, the existence of gods and the importance of faith is a reality 
and it is a tool he is using to rend the galaxy. You got to respect the commitment they have. Fire. Pretty sure they all get like a little like a scratch and sniff congratulations snicker. Help me. I say snicker or sticker. I can barely hear myself. Loyalist. Primark. Vulcan. A forge master. A behemoth. A very huggy boy. Single word descriptor. Fire. The Salamanders hail from Nocturne, a volcanic planet home to their Primark Vulcan. Jamie the Hustle. largest of the space marines. Not due to numbers, but rather size. Vulcan, it, it, he is an enormous slab of this dude. by far the largest <laughs> of all the Primarchs. However, don't let it will be the black dudes that are the largest. Also the kindest. Salamanders have oh, really? the juxtaposition of looking frightening, being larger than other marines while also like they sleep in soy sauce, like whole color skin and blazing red eyes while simultaneously they don't have... carrying around all manner of flame weaponry. So your average civilian might be spooked, but in reality, they are by far the kindest oh. of all the legions to those civilians. Vulcan believes that to safeguard the Imperium is to, at the end of the day, I mean, safeguard its people. So unlike other legions who put their lives far and above the average human, the salamanders spend significantly more time trying to save them, often taking numerous losses by doing so. They are very independent as well. They're forgers and blacksmiths, mm. maintaining their own weapons and crafting. Like the ultimate hustle. They, they got to go out and get it on their own. Of being able to see their families even after becoming a space marine. They they care they it's are they they, they the good and bro half foot tall giant with flaming red eyes just reduced a traitor to bubbling metal says you have nothing to fear young citizen take my hands <laughs> if you enjoy fire melting things and being the nicer of the marines salamanders are for you hey they my guys i like the salamanders we need some good upstanding Saga. warriors out there work if you yell it out loud the raven guard allegiance Loyalist. Primark, Corvus Corax, a raven, this crazy a bastard. Shadow, an industrial dance DJ. Single word descriptor, stealth. The Raven Guard are the final Loyalist Legion at 19 and hail from the planet Deliverance with Primark, Corvus Corax. If it hasn't been made clear enough already, the Raven Guard are stealth specialists and proficient in all manners of assassination. Despite hmm. this, their signature winged jump pack and double lightning claw look is well, not very stealthy. It's not. It looks They're like it's in your face. Of course, the Raven and embody the entire concept of it as a herald of death. They are stealthy, patient hunters that have no problem with waiting and waiting and waiting until the moment to strike is at hand. It's hmm. not easy being a stealth faction when your stealth involves people in one ton of power armor. But they right. It's like they way. probably that more than anything, like a motherfucker. Unless they, they have super silent cages, cushions under their shoes. Even though it is, but rather to show how good the Raven even guard are at their jobs. It's not about them sneaking around you without being seen, but it's also about them having lied in wait for so long that it wasn't until they were in striking distance that you even realized they had been there. And also, <laughs> if you want, you know, edgelord marines with a long black haircut, pale skin, ravens everywhere. If you want to field assassins and snipers abound, then the Raven Guard are for you. He could be in this very room. He could be Alpha you. Legion. He could be me. He could Top be dogs. Me. Obvious. The Alpha Legion. Allegiance? Heretic. Better call Alpha. Alpharius and Omegon. Saboteurs, destabilizers, they're in your walls. Single word descriptor, espionage. Mm. Finally, the 20th Legion. The Alpha Legion, led by Alpharius and Omegon. The only Legion to have two Primarchs yes. who were split as twins. The Alpha that is Legion cool. are heretical we think and specialize in destabilization Two heads are way of better than society one. and armies their entire shtick is the hydra because when you cut off one head two more take its mm -hmm. place all of the alpha legion look exactly like their primarch olive skin shaved head all claim to be alfarius all are liars they make the largest use of sleeper cells and cultists in the chaos space marine factions because it's extremely easy to take over a planet when you poison our water supply <laughs> burn our crops, and deliver the plague onto our houses where the raven guard use stealth and sabotage to eliminate their enemies the alpha legion prefer to weaken them over time with sleeper agents impersonations yeah. basically anything you could imagine from a hardcore perfect infiltration unit cold war level espionage being alfarius is not only 
only an honor. Being Alfarius is a requirement. There's a story of someone chasing down an Alpha Legion agent for years upon years, and when they finally catch up with them and they see them, they see that the agent is wearing the same face as their pursuer, because this was the plan all along, mm -hmm. to kill him and take his spot. We're talking facial deconstruction That's fucked surgery, up, though. we're talking hacking, we're talking political assassination and impersonation, everything. They are space marines in name only, only because exactly. being a strong stoic warrior is not what the Alpha Legion is interested in. In fact, the Alpha Legion is interested in you not even knowing that the Alpha Legion is a thing. Mm. I am Alpharius, you are Alpharius. We are all <laughs> Alpharius in his Lord's glorious army. Thank you everyone so much that for was watching awesome. this video. I hope you learned a little something. I hope if you were on the fence about what Space Marines you wanted to field, you would now have a better idea of what you want to play. Buy my gamer sub shaker. It's on sale. It's on pre-order. It's ready to go. Just get it. Just get, get it, it, man. If you like big boobs. And a huge thank you to all of my patrons over on patreon.com slash bricky and the members on the YouTube channel. Your names are here. I thank you a ton. You are all very generous. And uh, oh, I need to answer a question. Have you ever attempted to touch grass, but end up touching the Destiny 2 loading screen? <laughs> oh, damn it. I just Lord. You set yourself up for that one, Yeah. Brick. So? Come on. <laughs> Obviously, you're a skater. Who? but guys, that concludes another awesome video from Bricky. Talking about every Space Marine faction or Legion. That was very good, man. I love Bricky's commentary, man. And I just love how the, the, the fucking expansive lore runs so deep. And it continues to evolve too, right? Like over time, these characters continue to be developed and some of them go from humble, happy beginnings to dark and depressive current day events, you know, which is what our economy looks like today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is really good. Like you, the, the the Space Marines, there's a reason why they are the face that runs the place because there are so many of them and they have such a dominant looking appearance to them. It's just crazy how a person has to undergo this torture because at first, like I said, I assumed that these guys were just um, kind of, you know, incubated, kind of like how the Space Sovereign is up in the Marvel Universe, like Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought they were kind of incubated and just bio-engineered bio to do all these different things, but no, they are like, I guess, uh, if you want to call them just normal Imperial Guardsmen that got the implants and some of them succumbed to the surgeries because you have to be cut in half and all this other shit to actually be enhanced. Um, it's it's very interesting and very dark too because like I don't know if all these guys are willing participants or were they just forced against their will. How did that go? Who knows? But there are so many of these different factions that I love. Like I like the ones that are nasty. You know, the ones that got that nasty shit up in them. But I think I'm gonna go more towards the group. Um, I think the the, the night lords or what they were called that uh exist on the fucking dark planet of night and they just have nothing to do but just you know inflict misery and pain on others in order to uh, satiate their appetite which is for most parts insatiable like every it seems like every faction has an insatiable appetite for something in the warhammer 40k universe i just don't know like, where does it end? Like, is there like a, a, a resolve? Like, it, like can these things be resolved? Um, I also am just interested in seeing how the the whole surgery goes with them. You know, like I'm I'm thinking that I'm gonna dive more into the actual cutscene side of Warhammer 40K because I want to see how these things look visually. Especially in the newer games, guys. Like I say, the newer games, they look really good. Like, I saw that Warhammer 40k uh, Space Marine 2 footage, and I was like, oh my god, this looks so amazing. Like, if they can go back to the earlier beginnings and actually tell the story with those uh, fucking crisp 4K graphics using the uh, UEE 5, the Unreal Engine 5, Boy, I would jump into this because I don't think I'm going to ever 
I feel like I'll be pissing people off if I say this, but I don't think I'll ever jump on the tabletop side of things when it comes to this, even though that's the lifeblood of this franchise. That's what actually brought it to life. I don't think I can do it because, I don't know, it's like I, I have a lot on my plate, guys. Like, I am juggling so many different things, and I have to keep the lights on, so I just want to do something that's more comforting to me because even gaming, to a certain extent, even though I'm the random black gamer, that right there can take a lot of my time when I have certain things that I have to do. So I just try to be efficient with my time as I possibly can and do stuff that's going to be conducive to not only me, but also to you guys, because I feel like in a way I'm kind of giving back to the Warhammer 40K community by doing these videos and actually showing you guys that I am appreciative of the Lord. So if I were to do anything Warhammer 40K related, like jumping into it as opposed to just doing reactions, it will most likely just be doing like playthroughs of the games since they do look that good and interesting and being able to experience the super powerful, you know, heavy bolter weapons that these guys can use and just be popping motherfuckers with these big ballistic missiles that they use as rounds. That's the aspect that I'm interested in and also the cutscenes, man. So if you guys can do what you do in the comment section below, recommend me some um, awesome cutscenes and uh, let's try to keep this thing going, guys, because y'all are very efficient when it comes to pressing that like button and reaching these little goals that I have for you guys. You know, you know the usual thing, 1000 likes and we'll react to some other Warhammer related things. So let's try to get this done in a timely manner and let's just continue to dive into all this crazy shit that this universe has to offer. But anyways, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen any reactions. I'll catch you guys soon, hopefully, for some more Warhammer 40K reactions. Peace.